Wash Rex Roth moves everything, but not in the beginning. Over the past 50 years, Rex Roth USA has grown from humble beginnings to nine business units, with sales in excess of $900 million. Here's a look at the past 50 years. In the mid-60s, Rex Roth products were imported and sold in the U.S. by a Philadelphia independent agent, Mort Gray, under the name of Rex Roth Hydraulics. In fact, the original RR trademark logo was designed by Gray and was used worldwide. In 1967, Dr. Warner Dieter purchased Gray's business and sent Alfred Krug to the United States to start the Rex Roth Corporation in Easton, Pennsylvania. It was a humble beginning, starting with a 6,000 square foot former tobacco warehouse, which became Rex Roth's first official facility in the United States, located at 1212 Washington Street, Easton, PA. In October, Alfred Krug, Ingrid McDonald, and Joe Gauss opened the Rex Roth corporate office. Shortly after that, more associates were brought on to help with incoming orders. It wasn't easy, and logistics were challenging. All shipping and receiving took place through a narrow corridor, which hardly fit the forklift between the inventory and the street. Rex Roth was growing, and it was time for a new location. On December 13, 1973, Alfred Krug and his colleagues broke ground for the new U.S. headquarters at 2315 City Line Road in Bethlehem, PA. Just three years later, in 1976, Rex Roth was acquired by Monisman AG and became Monisman Rex Roth. Expansions leading into the 1980s allowed for more office space, improved warehousing, and better power unit capabilities. Rex Roth's growth continued as the decade of the 70s came to an end. New divisions were added that expanded capabilities in the fluid power industry. In June 1979, Rex Roth purchased what would become the Mobile Hydraulics Division in Wooster, Ohio from Borg Warner. The Intermat AC Servo Drive Division, predecessor to Electric Drives and Controls Division, moves to Wooddale, Illinois in November 1979. Today, the Intermat brand now occupies a much larger facility in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Growth, expansion, and new customer acquisitions continued as the decade of the 80s began. In 1982, the Bethlehem Power Unit Department completed the largest power unit ever built at the time. The power unit replaced an antiquated steam forge press at Bethlehem Steel's Bethlehem plant. Also in 1982, a small Michigan company named Weldon International began distributing Bosch flexible assembly conveyors in the United States. Bosch added Racine Hydraulics to its U.S. portfolio and later renamed the company Bosch Fluid Power Corporation. Just a few years later, on the other side of Lake Michigan, Weldon International opened a separate conveyor and aluminum framing division in the small town of Buchanan, Michigan, named Bosch Automation Products. In June 1989, Rexroth acquired Westinghouse Air Brake Company, also known as Meckman, in Lexington, Kentucky, and entered the pneumatics arena. The pneumatics division was eventually sold in 2014 to Aventix. During the same period, Rexroth opened Bruninghouse Hydromatic in Fountain Inn, South Carolina, which is now our main mobile hydraulics manufacturing facility and our largest facility in the U.S. As the foundation for the future was taking shape, the Bethlehem Sales and Service Building located at 2300 City Line Road was built and occupied. Joining Rex Roth in the U.S. in 1991 was Star Linear, whose growth over the next five years necessitated new quarters in 1996. Star's original U.S. business started with the Tykeaway Bearings Company. The addition of Linear Motion brings all drive and control technologies under the Rex Roth umbrella. In fact, the original takeaway bearings are still manufactured in Charlotte and sold worldwide. With the company's future secured, and after a long and productive career, Rex Roth's first U.S. President and CEO, Alfred Krug, officially retires from the company on November 23, 1998. Earlier that same year, Bosch Automation Products in Buchanan, Michigan, Bosch Fluid Power in Racine, Wisconsin, and Bosch Industrial Controls in Avon, Connecticut are merged under one umbrella, Bosch Automation Technology. 
In 2001, Bosch Rexroth is founded when Robert Bosch GmbH acquires Rexroth from Monesman and merges it with Bosch Automation Technologies. Official start of the new company after approval by antitrust authorities worldwide occurs on May 1st. Post-merger integration activities occupy much of the year. With the acquisition by Bosch, the headquarters needed to be closer to those of our corporate parent in Illinois. That same year, Bosch Rexroth US moves its headquarters from Bethlehem to Hoffman Estates, Illinois. The company's CEO at this time is Bob Rickard, who serves until his retirement just a few years later. 2002 marks the development of the Drive and Control Integrated Brand Image. The Drive and Control Company. In 2007, Baron Brocht takes the helm as the newly appointed president and CEO of Bosch Rexroth in the U.S., replacing Wolfgang Dongle. Having started his career at Rexroth in 1991, Brocht brings a focus on keeping the company's promises. Rexroth acquires Haglunds and Rainier in 2008, adding important breadth to the company's hydraulics product offering. In 2009, the drive and control company continues its rapid growth. With demand so strong, Bosch Rexroth US launches its go-to focus delivery program to ensure fast deliveries on popular Rexroth products. The growth trajectory increases the company's focus on fountain in and sales opportunities with other Bosch divisions in the Carolinas. For these reasons, Bosch Rexroth again moves its headquarters, this time to Charlotte, and opens a new logistics center for its linear motion and assembly technology business. A major expansion in Fountain Inn takes place in 2013 to meet growing demand for mobile hydraulics products. A wave of smaller expansions occurs over the next several years in Houston and Bethlehem. After eight years as CEO, Baron Brock steps down and brings another shift in senior management in 2015. UK native and longtime Rexroth associate, Paul Cook is appointed president and CEO of Bosch Rexroth Americas. A lot has happened in the past 50 years, and many of our accomplishments would not have been possible without Rexroth people. Our people, including our distributor partners, our associates worldwide, and all of our Rexroth families here in the US have made the company what it is today, a worldwide drive and control powerhouse. Wow, 50 years of success here in the United States. That's a tremendous achievement. And none of it will be possible without you, our fantastic team. Let's celebrate today and also lay the groundwork for the next 50 years of success and also for those who follow in our footsteps. Congratulations to you all. Let's move to win.